I don't actually know where I'm going to, though. Hold on. Um, okay, out somewhere. Journal, that'll tell me. Uh, Rex, right. Uh, proven. Oh, right, right. The Alliance Docking Bay, Seasec Academy. Right on. Okay, so we'll fast travel. Go out there, talk to... Talk to Anderson. There's that guy still fucking with the keeper. I'm ignoring it, though. Didn't see anything. It's a really annoying quest to do. I think this is the right way. Excuse me, Commander Shepard. Could you spare a moment of your time? Commander Shepard, my name is Samesh Bhatia. Forgive the intrusion, but I have nowhere else to turn. A lot of people want my help these days. What makes you special? My wife was a Marine. She was in the 212 on Eden Prime. The 212? Isn't that Ashley's unit? She might want to meet Mr. Bhatia. I've requested that my wife's body be returned to me for cremation, but the military has refused my request. Why did they refuse your request? There's got to be some reason. I don't know. All I know is that they have declared it impossible for my wife to be returned to me. We'll look into it. The man in charge of my case is Mr. Bosker. When I last saw him, he was in the expensive bar over there. Thank you for your time. I just want to give my wife a proper funeral, and the respect she deserves. Okay, fair enough. Seems easy. Uh, to the bar. Is that... I think it's this way. Go talk to... Who? I don't know. Some dude. Probably just the only person in here with a name. Somebody that doesn't have a generic title. Hi, loading. Okay, bye. Um, this way? Nope. This doesn't look like a bar. I'll try again. Go down here. Is this one a bar? Um, no. Oh, there's some jitty crypt over there. Don't mind, oh, don't mind me. Just gonna, uh, gonna borrow this, this laptop here. Straight through. <sighs> that music sounds good. I'm pretty sure that's the Windows 8 startup music there. Some strange recruitment thing for biotics in the Hawking Ada cluster. Hmm. Well, I suppose we could head over there and check it out. Seems odd and suspicious, and the music certainly doesn't help. And last but not least, uh huh. Um. Boss. Yeah, Boscar, that's the one. My goodness, you're Commander Shepard. Your activities made for quite a briefing in the diplomatic corps. Is there something I can do to assist you? You can cut the red tape for a grieving husband. I want you to release the body of Nerali Bacha. Commander, nothing would make me happier. I'm afraid, though, that it's not quite that simple. Serviceman Nerali Bhatia died on Eden Prime, as Mr. Bhatia no doubt told you. Her wounds are inconsistent with any type of weapon damage we've seen before. That is why her body is being held. You're studying her injuries to learn more about Geth weaponry. The tests we're conducting may lead to better defenses against Geth attacks. Respectfully, Serviceman Batia may save more lives in death than she did in life. Hmm. I got a choice. I can convince him to release it, but I kind of like what they're doing with it. I'll tell Mr. Batia about this. It might make it easier for him to understand. Thank you. I appreciate that. Please let me know if you have any other questions. I said I'd look into why. I never said that I'd release the body, though. Ha ha ha. Uh, maybe he'll understand anyway. Cause, I mean, it makes sense that somebody dies to some foreign weaponry. It's always nice to examine the corpse and see, you know, what the weapon does. And who knows, maybe this will help me out in the later games somehow. Hello, Commander. Has any progress been made with Mr. Bosker? Will he return my wife's body? They're running medical studies on Norelli. That's why they won't release the body. Tests? They're holding my wife's body for tests? My wife served the Alliance faithfully. She gave her life for humanity. And this is how they repay her. Samesh, right now more people are going to die unless the military runs those tests. This isn't about them. This is about my wife, the woman the military killed. 
The Geth killed your wife. And they'll kill a lot more if we don't run those tests. You think I've not given enough? Don't speak to me of duty. My wife is dead. I just want her to come home. I miss her so much. Let them run their tests. Let my wife save lives so that others are spared the loss I feel today. Goodbye. Thank you for finding me answers. Yeah, wow, plus nine renegade points. Man, that was a dick move. Gee, many. Um, I feel like this is actually the wrong way. But, uh, I don't know. We'll check out. Hi, loading. We'll check out and see what's over here anyway. May as well. And whole lot of nothing. Yeah, for some reason I thought people would be here, but this is definitely not a docking bay. This looks much more familiar. I uh, had to do a rapid transit to the CSAC because this is at the bottom of the tower. Um, there's Rex. I gotta talk to Rex. You. Human. You the one they call Shepard? That's me. Commander Shepard. The name's Rex. The Shadow Broker paid me a lot of money to get rid of Fist. Only you got there first. Taking care of Fist was part of my investigation. When I get paid to do a job, I finish it. Alone. I don't like where this is going. But I didn't finish this job, Shepard. You did. So the payment is yours. Bounty hunters don't just go around paying off people who take their contracts. I won't take credit for someone else's work. I transferred the payment into your account. I like the way you handled Fist. Now I hear you're going after Saren. I was thinking I should come along. You're a bounty hunter. What do you get out of going after Saren? I'm not in this for the money. I want to be where the action is. There's a storm coming, and you and Saren are right in the middle of it. Why me? Saren's already got a lot of Krogan working for him. Those aren't Krogan. They're servants. They grovel at Saren's feet to lick his boots, trading their freedom for promises of wealth and power. My people were a proud species once. Some of us still remember that. I won't bow down to Saren like the others. We'll take you with us, Rex. Smart move, Shepard. This guy, Krogan, very big, very beastly. Very, 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 very good shields. Uh, he's amazing with a shotgun. I'll, uh, should I take aliens? Oh, man. Nah, I'm gonna go with... Well, because Garrus has first aid, doesn't he? Let's see if... No, I can't really view it from here. I'll go with Kaiden for now. Kaiden and Rex that should be alright. Definitely have a lot of pushes and warps and stuff like that, because I think Rex has all that too, doesn't he? Yeah, warp throw barrier. He's got stasis as well. Battlemaster for <laughs> health regeneration, more melee damage. Mm -hmm. Damage reduction. He gets heavy armor eventually. We'll, uh, we'll go ahead and unlock shotguns at some point. But do I have heavy armor for Krogan? No. No, I do not. I do have the motorized joints though, which is better uh, charge damage, and that's, that's why I saved those. It's for this guy. All right, well, let's get you, uh, let's get you some health regeneration first. I'd like to work over to heavy armor, but I want to get you shotguns as well. So we'll just bring you over to there, grab shotgun skill. Carnage, fire blast particles, inflicting buttload of damage to people, hurts them a lot, awesome. And then, I guess we'll grab shield boost. Alright, working on him, and him, myself, and Kadai are all taken care of then. Pop over to his equipment, give him a shotgun. Mm, very similar. This one's a little better, I suppose. And we'll give you hammerhead rounds for weapons force, because that sounds awesome. Motorized joints for more smash damage. You don't really need a biotic amp, it's the same one. And all that stuff should be fine. And spacebar, Krogan. Oh, you already got it. Okay, he's on it. He knows what he's doing. Right on. So, 
Don't mind me, guys. Oh god, I killed Kaiden. I'm sorry. <laughs> I am so sorry. Send me back in. He's okay. He's alright. He just tripped. Uh, let's put the weapons away if we can. I don't know how. Yeah, that one quest earlier, leaving the tower, that one dude was tinkering with one of the keepers, and he's got a quest where he's collecting data on them to figure out what exactly they do. Uh, and again, they're basically the IT department of the Citadel, but there's like 23, 24 keepers. Set. Looking you up. They want you to find them all. And this guy's a vendor. He's got Spectre stuff. Commander Shepard, here with the Alliance military. First time on the Citadel, that about right? How did you know all that? I'm the CSEC requisitions officer. I need to make sure our buyers are authorized. So, will you be purchasing anything today, Commander Shepard? Show me what you've got. Sounds good. Just let me set you up. Well, this must be a mistake. System's telling me to offer you our select stock. Spectre? Well, I heard about that, but I didn't realize it was you. Sorry, Commander. Just show me what you've got. I'll open the rare stocks for you, Commander. Enjoy. Right. 320,000 credits for this stuff. Master Gear, it's like endgame stuff here. Fantastic equipment. And we do have license, which I will buy. Because there is a dude aboard the Normandy. He's a quartermaster and sells stuff. The more licenses you buy, the more equipment he gets. So I'll buy that. Grenade upgrade. More grenades. Yeah, I'll take that. Sure, why not? I'll sell crap too. There we are. I sold off most of the crap that I'm not using. Uh, all the pistols we don't have equipped. Spare armor that we're not using. Stuff that, you know, we're, it's outdated now. I sold the assault rifles because I don't really have anybody who uses assault rifles aside from Ashley. But I don't really plan on using her very much because, eh, I got uh, I got better people. And I can't really afford to buy much. 4,000 credits really isn't very much in this game. Uh, some of the cheapest stuff, I could buy this stuff, but it's pretty much what we've already been looting. It's not a good enough upgrade to necessitate spending all of my money. Um, right, not everybody can use a Omni tool. And the pistol I don't think I can afford. Oh yeah, I can use the, the pistol as well. But barely an upgrade. I mean, it's an upgrade for Kaidens in a way. It's a little less accurate. It shoots a little more, a little more damage, but whatever. We find stuff out on the field that we'll be using, so I'm not too worried about it, but this is a good guy to keep in mind for the Spectre gear if, uh, if ever you get that kind of money. Now, I will just cut away here because there are other vendors aboard the Citadel and they have more of those licenses that I want to pick up because I'd like that guy to have a decent amount of stock. So I'll go and do that. Here at the med clinic, I picked up a first aid interface from uh, Chloe Michelle. Or Chloe Michelle or Michael or whatever her name is. She's got a bunch of armor upgrades, medical interfaces, increase health per second. Uh, and toxin resistance eventually for the fancier ones. I just picked up a cheap one, 70 credits. Uh, it's a level one first aid interface. It only does one health per second. I figure 70 versus 700, it's been 10 times as much for you know, an extra 0.5 health per second. Not really worth it. I picked one up just so I've got one on hand so somebody can get health regeneration because it sucks not having any regeneration at all. You're just kind of going through med gel, but at least now with a little bit of health regen on somebody, uh, probably myself, I can be outside of combat, slowly regenerate health, and be just fine later on. Commander Shepard? Excuse me, Commander oh. Shepard! Hi. I'm Emily Wong. I'm a journalist investigating corruption on the Citadel. You recently took down a man named Fist, reportedly a member of some sort of organized crime ring. Did you find any evidence in his office? Is there anything you can share with me? Nothing I intend to share with the press. These are for an official investigation. I'm sorry you feel that way, Commander. I'd hoped you'd see the benefit of working with the press. I won't trouble you any further. That really? Wow! It's you! Have you seen my Let's Plays? You're Commander Shepard, the hero of Eden Prime. I am so honored to meet you. Nice to meet you. And you are? My name is Conrad. Conrad Werner. They say you killed more than a hundred Geth on Eden Prime. I don't have time for this, Conrad. I'm not here to be a role model. 
Oh, I see how it is. Commander Shepard doesn't have time for the little people. Far be it for me to get in your way. You go be a hero. <laughs> Another minor thing that may or may not have an impact on the next games. Who knows? Moving on. Yeah, so I didn't really buy much aside from uh, from licenses and Medi Gel upgrades and stuff like that. And again, I only picked up the first interface because I may or may not actually find one out on the field. I don't know. I, I just rather guarantee that I have at least one hanging around. As far as weapons and armors go, I'll get that stuff eventually. Presidium? I even never remember. Uh, no, it was Ward CSEC. That's right. I'll head, I believe, down this elevator leads to. Yep, the docking bay, where we should meet Captain Anderson, and he'll talk to us and all sorts of stuff like that. Never mind, we're going up to the docking station. Apparently, we're in the basement. Hi, guys. What's going on? I've got big news for you, Shepard. Captain Anderson is stepping down as commanding officer of the Normandy. The ship is yours now. She's quick and quiet, and you know the crew. Perfect ship for a Spectre. Treat her well, Commander. This isn't right. The Normandy belongs to you. You needed your own ship. A Spectre can't answer to anyone but the Council. And it's time for me to step down. Come clean with me, Captain. You owe me that much. I was in your shoes 20 years ago, Shepard. They were considering me for the Spectres. What happened? I failed. I couldn't make the cut. It's not something I'm proud of. Ask me later and I'll tell you the whole story. For now, all you need to know is, I was sent on a mission with Saren, and he made sure the Council rejected me. I had my shot. It came and went. Now you have a chance to make up for my mistakes. So the drunken loony in Corazon was actually right, apparently. What kind of leads do we have? Saren's gone. Don't even try to find him. But we know what he's after. The conduit. He's got his geth scouring the traverse looking for clues. We had reports of Geth in the Ferro system shortly before our colony there dropped out of contact, and there have been sightings around Noveria. Find out what Saren was after on Ferros and Noveria. Maybe you can figure out where the conduit is before he does. Anything else? We have one more lead. Matriarch Benezia, the other voice in that recording. She has a daughter, a scientist who specializes in the Protheans. We don't know if she's involved, but it might be a good idea to try and find her. See what she knows. Her name's Liara, Dr. Liara Tassoni. We have reports she was exploring an archaeological dig on one of the uncharted worlds in the Artemis Tau cluster. Hmm. Eventually we do all three anyway, so it doesn't really matter which one I start with. If I remember rightly though, Pharos gets pretty difficult if you don't do it first because things kind of level with you. So I'm going to go with that. The colonists on Pharos might still be alive. It's your decision, Commander. You're a Spectre now. You don't answer to us. But your actions still reflect on humanity as a whole. You make a mess and I get stuck cleaning it up. I'll take care of Saren. You take care of the political fallout. Not exactly the answer I was looking for, Shepard. Remember, you were a human long before you were a Spectre. I have a meeting to get to. Captain Anderson can answer any questions you might have. Yes, Commander? I want to know the truth about you and Saren. I want to know about the mission you were on together all those years ago. We had intel on a rogue scientist being funded by Batarian interests. He was trying to set up a facility to develop illegal AI technology out in the Verge. Alliance Intel had done all the work, but the Council wanted a Spectre involved. We compromised. I was assigned to help Saren in his investigation. We tracked the scientist to a refining facility on Kamala. He was hidden away somewhere inside, protected by an army of Batarian mercenaries. The plan was simple. Sneak into the plant, capture the scientist, sneak back out. Quick, quiet, and a minimum of bloodshed. I'm guessing things didn't go as planned. Saren and I split up to cover more ground. Then about halfway through the mission, there was a massive explosion in the refinery core. Officially, it was ruled an accident, but I think Saren detonated it on purpose to draw off the enemy guards. He was smart. You needed a diversion. This went way beyond a simple diversion, Commander. The explosion tore the refinery to shreds. The whole place was on fire. Black chemical clouds poured out into the atmosphere. 
Nobody inside survived. There was a camp for the workers and their families nearby. Between the fires and the toxic fumes, the final death count was over 500, mostly civilians. Saren didn't care. The target was eliminated, mission accomplished, and I ended up taking the blame. That ended all talk of me joining the Spectres. Saren caused the explosion. How'd he pin it on you? In his report, Saren accused me of blowing his cover. He said it was my fault the guards were ready for us. He claimed that's why it turned into a massacre. Saren's report was all the proof the Council needed to kill my chances of becoming a Spectre. The only thing I care about is stopping Saren. You're right, Commander. It's no good living in the past. I should go. I'll be here if you need anything. So there you go, there's the story on that, if anybody was interested. Nothing too, nothing too extravagant, just a botched mission. I heard what happened to Captain Anderson. Survives a hundred battles and then gets taken down by backroom politics. Just watch your back, Commander. If things go bad on this mission, you're next on their chopping block. Saren's out there somewhere, and we're gonna find him. Everyone on this ship's behind you, Commander, 100%. Intercom's open. You got anything you want to say to the crew? Now's the time. Listen up, Normandy. This is your commander speaking. We have our orders. Find Saren before he finds the conduit. And I refuse to let anything get in the way of that mission. We all know what happened on Eden Prime. We saw the destruction, we saw the bodies, we saw what Saren did. And I plan to make him pay. The Council wants to ignore this. That's no surprise. They've never helped us in the past. No reason they'd start now. But we don't need their help. We can do this on our own. Our enemy knows we're coming. When we go into the Traverse, Saren's followers will be waiting for us. But we'll be ready for them, too. This is the most important mission any of us have ever been on. The fate of an entire galaxy is at stake. We will stop Saren, no matter what the cost. Well said, Commander. Captain will be proud. Fancy speeches won't stop Saren from finding the conduit. If we really want to make the captain proud, we better get this bird in the air. Yes, sir. Yeah, renegade speech. Pretty epic. And I will. I'll just head out. The guy's on the bottom level, but I don't really have money to spend. The, the quartermaster, that is. So I'll just get this rolling. We'll head over to Pharos and see if there's anybody left there to save. And again, I choose Pharaohs first because things kind of level with you, and Pharaohs gets pretty intense later on. This is just kind of the overworld map. Zoom out a bit, and you see the entire everything. I can go to places and just explore if I want. Some planets you can go on to and find stuff, but for now, I think I'm just going to carry on with the game a bit. And see what we got. Over to Pharaohs. Here we are, there's all sorts of fancy things that don't really matter. Kind of a fun thing though, some planets, you know, like the surface temperature is actually kind of like it reflects that. So if it's a cold planet, they've actually got ice and snow everywhere. So it's, it's one of those nice little immersion details that I really like. Actually, like you can just kind of look at it. In some places, it's actually really neat. You've got their, their atmosphere, sometimes it's got just a giant gas planet for the sun. And you got some tiny moon right next to it, so if you land on that moon, that little moon thing and walk around, you look can look into the sky, and like 80% of the sky is a gas giant. Oh, it's awesome. Fantastically well done. I love little details like that in games.
Excuse me, pardon me. I hate how you have to like, go all the way up to the door though. I guess it's kind of nice if you want to do like last minute equipment changing. I'm trying to remember, do I need to equip anybody right now? No, I think I'm okay just to move on. On the bottom level there's also equipment lockers so you can change people's gear around, but I think we're alright with this. I'll bring Rex and Kaiden. I'm going to be traveling with them Equalizing quite a... interior pressure with exterior atmosphere. Fuck, she's loud. Logged. The commanding officer is ashore. Exo Presley has the deck. The commanding officer is offshore! Jesus, okay, I get it. Fucking A. David, Al, Tala, Tal, 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 Connie? We saw your ship. Fidan wants to speak with you immediately. Who's Fidan? He's our leader. He needs your help to prepare for the Geth. They're making another push. Please, up the stairs past the freighter. Look out! Oh, Jesus Christ. I'm thrown into battle again. Uh, I don't have grenades. Okay. Well then. Um, Rex seems to have their fire drum pretty well. That one's hiding behind a bear. That one's moving. Uh, so I'll have you do that. Kaiden, where's Kaiden? Kaiden? Oh, there you are. Good boy. Uh, throw that one. We'll just throw both of those. That guy can just hang out there. Actually. Warp might work on that. We'll go for that. See what happens. There we go. That took them. Rex's shields are down and he's currently blocking my way. I'll just have him pop barrier. Keep him long enough to kill him. And there's more. Oh yeah, there's more. Okay, well, we'll just pretty much do the same thing. Ooh, Singularity. I forgot that I got that. Whee! Ha, 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 ha. Got him. Oh, jeez. One of them's a sniper. Ow. Barrier. Barrier. Uh, sabotage is... Uh, no, just wait for now. Move, Move up a bit. I think he used it anyway. Alright, just around the corner. Got him! With a quick pistol whip in the face. And rally up again. So you guys reset, get rid of that barrier. And is that everybody? Right, that's everybody. So there's people still alive, but they're like crazy under attack right now. And then there's that thing. Geth Stalker. Maybe. Fuck, it's fast. Hi. Uh. Singularity. Ha ha ha. Uh. So fun. I love that spell. Ability. Power. <clears throat> clear? Clear? So far, so good. Yep, looks good. Hey guys, what's up? 